and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I thought I would do a review of BABA tonight and a little mini lesson on options. So welcome. So here we are. I'm in the BABA. <clears throat> I did it this day here. Now first of all, why did I do the trade? I did the trade because it was a gap. It was a golden gap. It was a bullish gap. That's why. And I also did the trade because it was a corrective gap. This is one of the reasons it was an amazing trade and one of the reasons it went to the dream target uh, the next day. And you could have gotten out of the option that day. I did not because I have it out for five weeks till September 9th. But this actually is a corrective gap. That means prior to this day, the stock was in a downtrend. And immediately when this day happened, it was in an uptrend. And so this is a very nice position and the stock is higher and I'm waiting to get it up through and over a hundred which is another buy point in this stock that should lift itself up into 102, 103 and then 105 or 106 are the next numbers. So I want to wait to get it over a hundred. When I took the trade I decided I wasn't getting out of this trade until it hit over through 100 which on the day that that happens it should have a big green bar like it did on Friday. So if you wanted the quick trade or didn't do it out as long as I did, you could, you, the exit was here, okay? If you can't stand watching a pullback in something you do, then you must get out of it on this day. Sometimes these options will be up a lot, and if you have them out for weeks, they wiggle and jiggle. Nothing goes in a straight line, but this did go in a straight line. It just went in a straight line in one day. And then it came, it actually gapped up Monday, but then it gapped down on yesterday and the Tuesday had a perfect flip, okay? All I wanted it to do was close above 95. Low of the day was 95.05. What a spectacular, spectacular trade this is gonna be, and it is, and I really a great call for me here. And even to see 95, and it actually, actually, not only did it close above 95, it didn't even break it in the low in the bounce here. Wow, this is, a, this is really strong, people. Today the market fell in the morning but rallied into the minutes, which I also predicted and held today and never went red. Another beautiful, beautiful move. Now someone, one of the people that did the trade, uh, and I believe he took it out this day, said, why did it move so quickly, so quickly, so fast, and it wasn't even at the target? Because I had made two options calls. You could have bought the 95s or the 100s. And this is the lesson we're going to go over right now. So let's go over the lesson that's right now. I'm just going to pull up the option chain, even though it's after hours. Just hold on. Okay. So the call that I made for the people on the gap options letter, and I actually made this call in the trading room because I'm like, I'm like, take it. This is every once in a blue moon I say something, I say absolutely everyone in here must take this trade. I don't care to take this trade right now. I say that every once in a while when there's 100% conviction and no chance of failure. I say, take it. Anyways, <laughs> these are the ones I'm in. And here you have it. I have 25 of the 369 open interest. And I have a nice price in here it's because I took it on the day here. All right. But on the previous day up here, this was worth 4.7 at the high. So it's pulled back a little bit but it's holding extremely well because I'm through the strike. So the closer you are to the number that you take the, the position of the strike price, whether you do a call or a put, these are the calls, these are the puts. We're betting long, so you're on this side. Anyways, the closer you are, the stronger it holds to get through the number, which this is, and it did. And even in the down day in here, it held the strike. And I just needed it to close above that, but it held it in the low, which was amazing. So this will never break that. This was a just this is just such a nice trade, people. Anyways, I also called the 100s. I didn't end up doing these, but on the day of the actual day that I made the call, they were 30 cents. Today at the high, they were 150. So you could have made five times this even in this this morning, but actually it was worth way more than this on this day over here on Friday. And I didn't look what the high was in this, but Eric emailed me, he got out, and he, and he said, this just made my whole year. And I, I actually didn't see what the high was on this day. But this is the whole thing about this that I'm gonna show you right now. 
if you're looking for a trade to have more solidarity in these options, you want to get it closer to the strike or at the strike when you buy it or short it. Okay, but we're talking about long. So when you do a call, it's a long here in an option. You want to get it closer to the number or at the number. You're going to pay up for that, but it's more solid. It's a confirmation because you're getting it into the momentum in the right direction, right up into the number. It's going to go through the number as soon as almost after you take it, right the day you take it or right the next day you take it. So that you're going to pay up for that though. And of course, and if you have more time in it, it's even better because you have time for it to really run through the strike. In other words, then you don't have to worry about the expiration date because if the expiration date was in this today, which it's not, there's nothing that I could have done to lose in this today. Because if I was in it all day, I would have made money, even the last day of expiration. One of the things that people do incorrectly about options is they get the direction wrong or they screw up in the timing. But if you get it in a gap, in a golden gap, which is how I made the call here, which is why I took the train, and it was good that it was red the day I took it because I got it cheaper to buy it. Because some people went short this. There was one person in the room that said, oh my gosh, thank God I didn't do a put in this, Melissa. I'm like, why would you do a put in this? But a lot of traders did puts into this thinking it would fill the gap and fall four or five dollars the day after the gap because it actually closed red on the day but see this is the one thing that i do so extremely well is number one reading directional bias in a chart overall number one reading the change in trend when it happens or current trend which is in play which a lot of people can't even do right and also i'm able to read gaps and they're very powerful so if you read this gap and thought this was going to fall and fill the gap you lost that's not the reason this had this massive day, but I will tell you it helped for this go to the dream target because you have people covering and scrambling and covering their shorts on the day here because people shorted it and, and it was not a short. It will never break the low of this bar here at 91.26 for the entire rest of the calendar year 2016. And I don't know if it breaks it again anytime soon and it will hit over the high before it even breaks that bar. This is, this is a serious, serious trade in here, people. But I'm just doing an option here out to September 9th. But I mean, you could be long this stock now as a swing trade for you know huge numbers which i'm not even gonna go over right now but anyways getting back to what i was saying eric was saying about why did it move up and it didn't hit over 100 because you're get, because you had five weeks left you got very close to the number it got within a dollar 65 of 100 the 95s were up a lot on the day here too holding very firmly and holding more firmly in value okay so the 100s have pulled in a lot more but the 95s are holding better value even today in the, in the yesterday in the red date held the value. So you pay up to get closer to the strike or right at the strike, it runs into it. Even if you're not at the number, though, it doesn't matter. You can still make money if you're getting in the right direction. If you're getting in the right direction, you can still make money on it. And so that's what happened here. And it was running, 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 running. And actually, there, this could have actually ran up to 100. If we had not closed at 4 o'clock Eastern time of the day that this actually happened and transpired, we were only a dollar something away, a dollar fifty five away. So we could have actually done our 65 away. We could have done it this day if we hadn't closed it for. So that's why no matter whether you did the 95s or the 100s, you, you had huge profit on Friday in that. And if you can't hold through a pullback to wait to get to a bigger number, which I am doing because this is such a good trade and I have so much time and the buying will come in over 100, it's another buy point, then you got to get out that day. But you take it, you get out of these trades and exit into the momentum. People were emailing me, what do I do, what do I do? People are in it. They want to get out here, they want to get here. You don't get out when the day is red. If you're in it long, you get out the day it's green, okay? When you got the momentum and more time value. But either way, I'm playing this through with some time value, but I am playing this through for the solidarity of the trade, for the confirmation of the number. It is never going to go anywhere near 95 now, not after yesterday. And the other thing is, too, that I've got so much time left, okay? Four and a half weeks now after today. And also, I buy point is 100, and that's three points away. Three points away, and I don't know if we hit through that this week, but we will next week. So this is a good, solid trade. And for those of you that are looking to do uh, my system and cannot actively day trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can do options with the Golden Gap system. So you learn the points. You rank the gap. You rank the gap with the points. And if it raises Golden Gap like this did to the upside, you would buy this as an option that day. And actually, you could have day traded this for money, but it was like a scalp on that day. Expensive stock to day trade though, but a beautiful beautiful move in here So the update on this is everything looks great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this nothing wrong with this at all It's a beautiful fabulous and not all gaps are created equal and that's why I have the rating system The rating system is 20 points or more you do it in the direction of the gap 
The higher the rating, the better the gap. Corrective gaps are the most powerful gaps that happen in the market. You do not see them every week or every month, but when you see them, you just do it. You do it, you don't even think, you don't even question, you just do it. You just take the trade, okay? Where you get out is up to you. The money manager is up to you. It didn't matter what anybody did with this. Every single solitary person in the room made money in this. It didn't matter if you get out Friday, if you get out today. It didn't matter if you pulled back, you still were up. It was an amazing call that I made and one of many that I will continue to make. But I will tell you if you're still in this, you're waiting to get this up through 100. It is a buy point and you will get, you must exit the trade through a run up into momentum. Dream target on this with four and a half weeks left. I mean, I'm just gonna give some silly numbers here is 110. Excuse me. 110 would be a silly dream target number on this for a September 9th expiration. Okay. And the biggest, I'll show you one more thing here. Let everybody go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. The biggest positions in this of the open interest I noticed was the 16th, mid month for September. But they're just too expensive now. But this is not even too late to buy it. I know that sounds crazy, but it's not even too late to buy this now. If you bought the same position I'm in right now, or the hundreds, you'd pay a dollar something for the 100s, it's still not too late. So the biggest positions in this are here, do you see this? This is September 16th expiration date, expensive, 95s. Why are two dollars through the number? Okay, you pay this here. And then uh, the 100s, this is actually it's only one more week after mine, but look at the look at the open interest in this. Four, four, this is 4.3 million shares, and look what trades went off today. You wowie! I'm just seeing that now. Woo! Actually, there's a lot of action in that today. What was allowing in that today? Only 140. But I will tell you the one the later out the ones, okay. These, are, these don't move as fast. So mine will start moving faster and faster and faster over the 100 point. So there's, you're looking at all of these things, but everything that I'm doing is based on the gap. So if you're interested in more information and you'd like to learn my golden gap system, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The next class is August 27th and 28th. This is, this is so much fun. It's so much fun doing it and I'm still in it. We'll see where I end up getting out of it. I absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt and have 100% conviction, no chance of failure. This goes through 100 and rallies and has another big, huge, massive green day after that buy point. And that, that day could be $10. I mean, this is, I know this sounds crazy, but the day that that actually does it, it can run up to 105 or 106. That, that would be great for me. That would be 10, 11 points through my strike price. And I have 2,500 shares. So I would just, be ecstatic. This is this is going to probably be the biggest options trade that I've ever done, and maybe the biggest trade I've ever done. So we'll we'll have to see. I'm still in it. I'm playing it out. I mean, I just so wholeheartedly believe in it. And and not all trades are created equal. Not our gaps will created equal. You really got to know what you're doing with these. And because it was a corrective gap, I just I just knew that it was good people. So we all did it. Congratulations, everyone, whether you get out Friday or not. And to be honest with you, if you get out Friday, you can still take it. You can still take it. It's not too late. It's not too late. So have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you'd like more information. And if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class, I have an early bird special running through this Friday, August 19th. Have a great day, everyone.